Hey guys, it's Spooky here. Uh, I know it's been a hot second. Um, I guess I just wanted to tell you guys where I'm at right now. So just recently, I moved to another province. So it was a really big move for me. Now I'm kind of almost settled. I still have a few things to take care of, but um, overall, like it's been going pretty smoothly. I'm actually gonna use a filter because I kind of look like crap. <laughs> Honestly, I guess like the sole purpose of this video is kind of to share how I'm feeling and confiding in you guys like my fears and my worries. As always, like I'm so thankful for my community and I, I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for my community. Like seriously, you guys supported me so much and in a way like I kind of feel like I'm I've let you guys down and it's in the back of my mind like all the time I just feel so bad about it because I've been kind of in a like you know how writers get like writer's block I feel like my creativity just has not been there like I feel like I lost my identity after I left G Fuel and it's been very hard to kind of bounce back from that there's also this like looming fear that a lot of people that claimed to be my friend and who supported me and my content were only there because I was partnered with G Fuel. Like sometimes it, it might not be true. It might be intrusive thoughts, but sometimes I do feel like a lot of people just after I left just abandoned me completely. And it kind of hurts when I think about it. Like a lot of people that were in my streams were it, it, it's hard to come to the realization that a lot of them probably just wanted like to get free stuff or that were trying to use me into getting a partnership with G Fuel because now like they're nowhere to be seen and they were like probably some of my biggest like supporters and I guess that's just reality but it is just I don't like I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here like yeah I, I do miss streaming and I do miss making content but I just feel like I just feel alone at the moment right now I feel like a lot of people won't want to still be my friend and still be in my community if I'm not what you feel anymore. It's just like so tough to start from the bottom again when I built myself up for so many months and now it's just like, where the f do I start? You know, like I, I don't know, like I want to keep going, but I just feel like also if I were to find new opportunities or like get partnered by other companies that a lot of people would like call me a traitor that people wouldn't support my content anymore because there's no G Fuel in it like it honestly like I don't know what to do I went through so much last year this past year was like such a traumatic experience and like yes I am thankful for you know everything that i've been through because it made me grow as a person and it you know i learned a lot of things through this but at the same time it makes me so scared to start over again because i don't want it to happen again and it's just like it's it's the fear that like i'm not good enough and it's the whole what do you call it freaking imposter syndrome i think that I get over and over again that I'm like not good enough because like G Fuel was such a big brand and all of a sudden I'm like nothing. But anyways, it is a learning experience like I said and I know that, you know, it's through moments like this that you're gonna find like your real supporters and your real friends. And I mean, a lot of people have stuck with me from like G Fuel and stuff and I'm really thankful for them. But I don't wanna be seen as like, spooky from g fuel anymore like i don't it, that was kind of like my whole persona like when i started this twitter i was like already really obsessed with g fuel and i was just posting about g fuel but as i went on and i started creating content i just felt like my whole persona was g fuel like i just felt like i had to post about g fuel to be relevant like even if i wanted to do different content or just dive into new subjects and stuff like that i still feel like i i had to like include g fuel or else people wouldn't be interested or like it wouldn't be relevant like i felt like i was like the g fuel girl 
and I so desperately wanted to get away from that and like because I want to be remembered as like an actual content creator because like I believe in myself I know that I had a very strong community at some point I know I can do it again I'm really confident in the fact that I am good at what I do I don't mean this in a conceited or cocky way I just mean it like I know I'm meant to do this like I just love having a community and I love the whole gaming community and just like being online in general <laughs> chronically online but it is a big part of my life and I want to keep doing that I just felt like I had to share like what was going on in my head like I, I'm just kind of like lost right now and I just wanted to be honest and you know share my worries and I want to make it clear like the reason why like i even joined g fuel to begin with is because i loved how close the community was and i wanted to be part of something like that and i wanted to create something like that like my own community and you know a big reason why like i haven't been streaming as much is also because i'm afraid that people are going to come into my stream because you can't really control like who goes into your stream or not and like stir up rumors or like problems or drama or whatever like that terrifies me and i don't want to be questioned anymore like i don't want people to ask me what happened at g fuel like all of those like stupid questions that i've already answered like i don't want people to ask me about that anymore like i know mods exist and stuff like that but i really can't like i don't want to go there in my mind again like i don't know how to get out of this whole g fuel persona like i don't want that anymore that's why like the name spooky to me is kind of it's hard to get rid of because it's something i've used for years <laughs> if i start streaming again like i want to stream and be a safe space for people that's like my goal that's the whole reason why i want to stream is to create connections like strong connections with people and i want to give them comfort and I want to give them a place to come to. I will come back. Like I know there is a place for me in the streaming community and I know that I belong there. And even if I were to come back under a different name, different brand, whatever, like if I start streaming again, like I want it to be like a safe space, not only for my community, but for me too. I just want people to, <laughs> I wish I could just like make people forget that I was even there at some point. If you want to support me, it's because you want to support me and my content and you like me as a person. Like I don't want people to come into my stream and start like creating drama. So I think it's just like, it's been a healing process overall for me, but I do want to keep working hard towards like my goals to those who are still here today even the people that are still in the g fuel community that never left me and like just trusted me and never questioned like other people's opinions of me or that just really stayed like i guess loyal to me in a way like i am so grateful for you and like honestly it's it's all because of you that I'm here. And I will never thank you guys enough for being in my corner. And I have not stopped thinking about every single one of you and you are so important in my life. And you know, it's it's still, it's been a big part of my life. Like it was like three years of my life, you know? So it's, I am who I am today because of you guys. And I just don't want that to stop. I don't want our connection to stop. And I want to make even more meaningful connections with you know new people in the future and i just i'm sorry that i haven't been consistent like as consistent as i used to be and i definitely do want to get back there again so to whoever is still here after all this time thank you i really really <laughs> i can't stress how thankful i am and you are amazing I don't have anything to drink on me right now, but <laughs> cheers to whatever's going to happen in the future. And thank you for sticking with me, whoever you are. I really owe you so much. And I will work hard to become a person that you can look up to and that you are proud of.